Hi guys, Brian here, the 3D print creator. And this is the finished product. Um, it's my, uh, not my first attempt to print with this Hypercube printer, but uh, it's one of my first real attempts. And as you can see, it turned out pretty okay. I'm not done with adjusting everything to the Hypercube printer. Uh, there are a few adjustments I still have to do. Uh, I think my belts are a little bit loose. So, uh, well, I have to, to, to get the right tension on them. And also I think uh, I have to play a little bit more uh, with my z-axis height. Uh, the thing is that I'm now using that sensor that is normal for the Hypercube uh, by Tech2C. Uh, he uses a probe that measures the distance to the bed. But I think my probe is a little bit, well, it's not so good. Uh, sometimes it has a measuring distance uh, that differs, differs from another time. So uh, it's, it's not really that good. So, well, I have to check that how I can fix it. And maybe I will fix it by just using a normal uh, C-axis end stop. I think that will be for me the way to go. Um, also, well, there are some things I have to check on this printer because they're not that good. Um, and, and I think that's just adjusting. Uh, if you take, for example, this... Uh, coil holder. I'm, I'm making my own coils for my father and uh, this is a holder for a coil and uh, it, it's not smooth and I don't know why. Uh, I have to play a little bit with the temperatures and one of the things I found out is for example that uh, when I set my temperature for PLA to 230 degrees Celsius then it's the correct temperature. Well, we all know that uh, the PLA I'm using, uh, well, it, it's working at a 200 degrees Celsius when I'm using it in my DaVinci Pro machine. So uh, there must be something wrong with or the readings or uh, the way it's cooling or th there must be something which I don't know yet. And I have to find out what it is. So, well, uh, I'm going to check that out. Um, and yeah, of course, uh, you all know that my bathroom, it was a little bit of a mess. Uh, it's almost done. I think the, the guys who are building it, uh, they have two days to go. And after those two days, well, the bathroom should be finished. And of course, when that's done, uh, then there isn't that kind of a mess in my house. And then I can start recording my regular videos. So next week there will be a regular video and it will be about the DaVinci Pro machine. Because, uh, well, I'm showing the Hypercube a lot of times now. But that's I, actually because it's the only printer at this moment which is working. Uh, so next week DaVinci Pro will be working again. And then we will do something exciting with that machine again. So this is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed the images of my Hypercube. And, uh, well... I have to do a lot of things to get this machine working and running and until that time I see you guys later. So don't forget to link to subscribe, um, well all that kind of things. And if you want to support my channel there is a link in the description down below where you can do so. Thanks a lot and it's because of my Patreon supporters who really really helped me out that I was able to build this Hypercube printer. So thank you guys, thank you guys a lot. Okay, see you guys around. Bye-bye.